Hello, today I want to talk about scheduling your homeschool and finding a schedule that works for you. So let's get going. All right, first two things. Sorry if there's a lot of noise. My kids are playing very loudly for some reason right now. I do not know why, so hopefully they're not too loud for you. And second, ignore the Christmas tree in the back and the cradle and all that. We had a major leak in a closet. The whole ceiling kind of actually like caved in um, as rain came pouring in. So anyway, I had to clear that closet and I have nowhere else to put that stuff. So until that closet is repaired, that is where that stuff will sit. Um, but hopefully that'll be repaired soon and it won't be sitting in my entryway anymore. Anyway, until then, there it is. So just pretend you don't see that. All right, but let's talk about scheduling. I have tried lots of different schedules over the um, course of my homeschool. I have tried making scheduling like it is in school. Um, since I went to school at least half of my schooling years, the other half I was homeschooled. Uh, and when I was homeschooled, I did a Becca video school. So it still is a very much kind of traditional school schedule. So that is kind of where I started in my homeschooling experience with my children, but it didn't work for us. Um, it just, it's too much because there's a lot of other things I need to do as a mom as well. And it didn't give me any time to do the other things I needed to do and the kids were tired, they didn't get to do other things either, and I felt like all we did was sit at a table all day long, and it just really wasn't working for us. So then I've tried kind of the unschooling approach, and I did like that better, but as my kids have gotten older, we needed more structure because it's a really easy, especially for me, to get deep in a project and kind of be like, oh yeah, we have not actually done this, or we really needed to read that, or I really needed more of a schedule for myself, almost more so than the kids, to kind of keep us on track and moving forward. So that is where we have kind of landed where we are today. And this has been over many years. This was not all like within a few days or weeks. This has been over years, but here is where we have landed today. And so far, I love this. This schedule works very well for us. I've kind of mixed a little bit of traditional schooling and the unschooling approach, and it gives me the flexibility I need, but yet also a target um, to move forward for like a plan, a schedule that I'm like my target goals of where I should be at work certain times, if, if that makes sense. I will show you. All right, so it is a little bit darker over here, so I'm sorry about the lighting. But this is our schedule. This is kind of what we do when, and it's a pretty loose schedule overall, but with all four of them doing school, I just get a little overwhelmed at times, and I didn't know what certain people are supposed to be doing when or what, and so this helps kind of keep us all on target and Obviously, if they want to switch it up a little, I don't mind, but it kind of just gives me a place to check off. Yes, we've done that or no, we haven't. Um, I'll zoom in a little closer here and show it to you. All right, so hopefully you can kind of see this. I am like standing up on my fireplace hearth, so it's a little little weird of a setup here. But um, So I kind of have allotted like the times over here and from 7 to 9, which is a pretty big window, I just put breakfast and get dressed. Um, this is the time that, you know, I do anything that I want to do in the mornings, whether that be my, like my Bible reading, get in starting on some chores, I make my bed, we get dressed, we eat breakfast, make breakfast. Um, I kind of know what I like to do in the mornings, so I didn't feel the need to like write out what I'm doing and it changes morning to morning, kind of how I decide I'm feeling at the moment. But, um, anyway, this way the kids know, you know, by nine o'clock, I expect them to have clothes on and have eaten breakfast. So that's just kind of our first thing in the morning. Then from nine to 9.30, I have, I start with the littles first because I found it just works better if I get them done in the morning. There are times like actually today is one that uh, my five-year-old just was not feeling it. Everything we tried to do in school today, she's like, no, no, no. 
And I just, I was like, fine, just go play. And I will try again this afternoon because th there's no point in just fighting with them forever. All right, so on the days that go like I want, <laughs> here's kind of what we do. I start my morning with the little two doing like calendar time, counting, flashcards, um, anything like that, that we kind of just, you know, the alphabet, running through things like that. At that exact same time, my um, oldest daughter, she is actually doing her spelling and reading. And my mom is so sweet that she calls on like a FaceTime and she actually does spelling and reading with my daughter right now. And it has been such a blessing. It really frees me up to focus on the little two while I know someone is listening to her read. So that has been very nice. So she does time with my mom and then my son, he is not very good about getting up and getting going. He does a little better to wait a little while, my oldest. So I just kind of left that time open for him and it gives him a little extra time to do whatever it is he feels like he needs to do in the morning. He is a little bit like me in that he likes to have gotten a few things done. Like I like to have gotten a few chores started. I like to have had my bed made. He does not do those exact same things, but he has in his mind the things that he really wants to get done. And until he gets those few things done, it's hard for him to focus on other things. So this is kind of his time to get done any of those things that are running around in his mind, get them done, get them out of the way so that when he starts on school, he can focus on school. So that's why that's open because I don't ever know what he's thinking he wants to get done and that's just kind of his thing. But so then from the 9.30 to 10, I am still with the littles. I have me doing math and English with them. And then um, my daughter is doing English and writing. And this is time for her to finish up anything that she didn't do in that first half hour with my mom. And then her writing, she does completely on her own um, with my supervision, obviously. She might come and be like, hey, I've got this. And you know, I kind of tell her do this or don't do that or you know. But for the most part, she can work pretty independently in this area. And then at that same time, the 9.30 to 10, my son actually is doing his time with my mom. Um, and they, she does just some random different things with him, some spelling um, and just kind of other things. I don't, I don't really know. She kind of does her own thing with him. And mostly I think it's just he enjoys talking to my mom, but they, uh, they do do spelling. And then, um, from 10 to 10.30, I am doing phonics and story time with the little two. And I went ahead and scheduled a story time because with my older two, I read books to them all the time. It just came naturally. I was like, yeah, let's read a book. I found with my little two, it's really easy to get busy doing a lot of other things. And I don't sit and read stories like I did with the older two. So I went ahead and scheduled a story time so that I purposely am reading stories to them. And then my daughter is doing math and my son is doing reading. This reading is actually, it changes right now. He's reading a science book. Sometimes he's reading a geography book. It's um, not fictional reading right now. It's um, reading for whatever subject I feel like he needs to be reading in at the moment. And it kind of changes. And then eventually I would like to maybe add in, make it a little longer and him do fiction too. Cause I really like him to get, be writing more book reports so i need to schedule that in somewhere here but right now this is what we're doing all right and then from 10 30 to 11 i am doing i put therapy and game time with my littles um my younger son has gone through a lot of therapy through the years and we no longer go to a therapist but i try and continue his therapy here at home so i take this time to do things to help develop his motor skills his speech um, and then play games because games is actually a really good like therapy and most of the stuff we do for therapy just seems like games to them but so anyway that's that time that I do with him and then my youngest joins in because she thinks it looks fun and at this same time uh, my daughter is doing computer and this is just like learning how to type and then my son is doing math and he has a video this year that he is doing so he watches a math video which has been really nice because that also has taken that off my plate and freed me up to do stuff with the others then um 11 to 11 30 we all do history 
we do that together. I read out of a history book, and so that is a group activity. And then 11.30 to 12, we do science, and I do science with the three younger ones. And then my son, who's older, since he usually ends up doing science during reading time on his own, he has computer time during this time. Unless he's just really into what we are reading about, then he's always welcome to join and listen to our science. And then he can just do his computer a little later. But he usually, we've already done a lot of those sciences with him. So what I'm doing with them, he kind of already knows. So he does his computer time, um, which is also just like learning how to type. And then 12 to 12.30, I scheduled lunch. And then 12.30 to one, I have um, kitchen cleanup for me and the little two. And that's just a good time to help get them to help me tidy things. And then my daughter has Bible and MISC, which um, she was like, what is MISC? But uh, this is just time I put that for her to do anything that she hasn't already gotten done or anything that we want to add. If there's a like new book that I wanted her, like a fiction book to read, or I just wanted a time for anything new or interesting. Maybe if we want to add in an art project or some kind of a project of some kind, just an a lot of time that we had that if we were like, oh, we should do this, that is that time. Um, but she also has her Bible during that time as well. And then her Bible, she just does on her own. Um, my son has music at that 1230 to one, and that is um, practicing the piano. And then one to 130, I didn't schedule anything for me and the littles. The littles are done, they go play. I am doing mom stuff, uh, whatever I need to do. If I need to help someone with something from earlier they didn't understand, I could be cleaning. Um, I could be doing this video, like just anything like that. Um, and then my daughter is now doing music at this time. And then my son is supposed to finish up anything that he did not accomplish in all of this. And I went ahead and did the time slots because it, my son especially, if he doesn't have, I have to have this done by this time, he could easily end up spending the entire day doing one thing because he wanders. You know, he'll be like, oh, you know what? I think I'm going to go do this real quick. Oh, you know, I'll do this. So it helps to have, you know what? I only have 30 minutes to do this. I better get this done. So he kind of needed that. Um, time to just kind of rein it in. Anyway, so this is our schedule. Um, I just kind of have it set up here on my mantle, which is real pretty. But the nice thing is, since it's on this marker board, I can easily uh, just take it down and put it in a closet or something if I don't want to see it. But um, this has been working really well. I've been enjoying this schedule. I've been enjoying that I can kind of come look at it and know where everyone is. And I don't have to try and be like, wait, what were you supposed to be doing right now? Um, because it's just too much. My mind just couldn't split that many ways. And so this has really helped. I hope this gives you an idea. Uh, do you have any great ways that you schedule that maybe I didn't list here? I'd love to hear your ideas. I love getting new ideas for scheduling. All right, but that is all I have today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would love for you to stick around. So please sub subscribe down at the bottom. It doesn't cost. It just kind of lets you know if I post a video, it will show up in your feed more than not. Um, and then uh, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.